shoot you in your face, small fuck, I'll pull your teeth out. Trigger finger itch, ain't nothing that you should reach round. Squad full of killers, keep squeezing until he dead. If the Billy missed the shot, I'm catching him off the rebound. Shoot you in your face, small fuck, I'll pull your teeth out. Trigger finger. What's going on, guys? It's your boy here, Ice to the motherfucking killer. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be showing you a trick on how to deal with tryhards and um, you know jet grief, griefer, whatever you want to fucking call them, those people in the DeLoreans and all the shit bang. There's gonna be more flying vehicles added onto the game and you know it's gonna be cancerous and you know it's gonna be hell and hectic and call of duty all over again pretty much. So today's, eh, so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to deal with that problem. Right. So, um, as you can see in my lobby, nobody's flying jets, nobody's flying cars, not even the fucking bikes, okay? I'm just showing you guys because I fucked them all up. There were people in here, now they're over here taking Uber and shit and fucking taxis around because, you know, none of them dares to fly. Also, promoting businesses, okay? So this video is not old. This is the new from the new update, the nightclub update. You know what I'm saying? So this is all fresh. I mean, as you can see, this guy is about to fly his car, but if he gets too close for my comfort, he's getting knocked out of the sky. Now let's see if he got the boss. It looks like he wants to test me. He'll be a perfect example today. All right. So he's not gonna come over here. I, I can almost guarantee you. And hell, I might not even. I might be able to hit him from this distance. Who knows? We're gonna try. See what happens. Alright, so. Enough with the blabbing. Let me exp. Oh, there, yep, there you go. So I locked on him. Hold on, I keep locking on this other thing. Let's see if that's a, somebody. That might be a civilian. Who knows? Nah, that was a civilian car. Alright, so. First things first, you're going to get one of these trucks. The truck that I got. It's very expensive. A lot of people don't like it because it's slow and it blows up in one hit. Alright, let me tell you something. This fucking truck here, it, oh, I did get him. Oh, look at that. See? I did get him. Alright? Now he's driving over here in a fucking car. And I'm going to show you another example. Alright, so you're going to get one of these trucks and you want to go into the golf course. This golf course is surrounded by fucking fencing and big bushes only there's only one way in and one way out no actually two ways in and and that's it you either fly in or you go into the main entrance that's all the way in bumblefuck you're gonna see the guy coming by the time they go in the main entrance and blow him up and the reason why i want you guys to stay in here is because you're protected by those fences so as you can see he's on ground right now the only way he can kill me is by bypassing those fences those fences are protecting my truck from rockets and sniper rifles and all that other shit and it also obstructs their view of seeing me. the trees those big fences the big bushes the only way they can kill me is by flying in here pretty much or driving in that one way which i will see them before they see me and boom i'll blow them up because this truck is very overpowered the rockets are very fast, and they hit the target almost 99% of the time. As long as it's, as long as the lock-on is on red, and there is no, if there is no, um, how do you say, anything in the way to to blow the rocket up. If it's just the target, it's gonna hit the target. Um. Another reason why I want you guys to stay in the golf course is you got the view of all of it. Everything, even the house. Boom, anything flying in that direction or even near this direction is getting shot down. The majority of the time, cops can't even get in here. That's rare that a cop car got in here, but the majority of the time, the wanted star will go away before they fucking find you. Um. If they do become a problem for you, which, as you can see, they're not even hitting me. 
But if they do become a problem, you can always call Lester, get rid of them, okay? But as you can see, that guy is not flying in his car anymore. He's, he's taking Uber now, yeah? He's not fucking around anymore. That goes for anybody in the game. It don't matter what vehicle, flying vehicle, whatever, this thing will drop them in a drop of a hat, dime, whatever, hat, whatever you want to call it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I didn't want to make it too long, but definitely when these flying vehicles come out, do not panic. Get yourself one of these trucks, man. Fucking counter that shit. Especially if you're working with your friends and they got to promote their business and you got a dickhead fucking jet driver flying around, which will probably be me. But sit in your truck, be patient, and I promise you, you'll get a kill. As you can see during the video, I just made an example out of this motherfucker. I killed him earlier, but he, you know, he's not flying in his car no more. He's scared. And everybody else is scared. Nobody else wants to do it. You know? Yeah, they're going to be flying over here, but that's over there. I'm not worried about over there. I'm only worried about my area where I'm sitting at. Anybody coming over here fucking with me? It's all fenced in. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't panic when those fucking MK2 bikes and all that other shit comes out because we'll put an end to it. No problem. Alright, peace out. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Sub if you're not. Got some awesome more videos coming your way. See ya.